Today we are going to create this robotic move around object effect in After Effects. Now it's very easy to create and you can use it to move around any object. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and usually this kind of effect is done with the help of a robotic arm which are programmed to move around an object and since we don't have the budget to do that so we are going to do this in After Effects. Now you won't be able to get that smooth of moments but we can get away with something that's pretty cool. So let's see how to make this. So there are basically three steps to create these kind of effects. So first is the recording, second is the stabilization and the third is the speed ramp. So let's understand this step one. So here I have this video of an object. Now you can take out your smartphone or camera and just record a video. So make sure that you have an object which around which you can move around and just place it somewhere you like. And after that, try to move around it while keeping it in the center and make sure your movements are as smooth as possible while moving around it. So for example, here I have this mic and I am moving around it like this and I'm trying to keep it in the center as much as possible and make sure to get all of these angles in which whatever angles you want to have your product. So for example, I'm moving away, then I'm moving to the left side, then moving to the right side, top angle, bottom angle, and I have recorded all of these using my smartphone. So once you're done with this, you can import the video in After Effects and you're ready to go. So once the video is done, we can import it inside the composition by dragging it like this. Now we can easily pick out the points from which we want our animation or the effect to begin. So I'm going to quickly mark the start and the end point. So these are going to be my start and the end point. And let's trim this. Right click trim com to work area. Now there is one more thing that you can take care of. So since I know that my final video is going to be in 1080p resolution, but anyways, I recorded this one in 4K because once we stabilize it, we might have to crop it to get rid of any black areas. So if you have a 4K footage, then it will be easier to crop without losing much quality. So if possible, try to record it in 4K. So once we're done with this, our step one is complete. Now we are ready to track this out. So in order to track, we are going to use the tracker panel. If you're not able to see it, then go to windows and enable it. Now select this video. And in order to track this, we are going to use the stabilized motion effect. So just click on that and it will take you inside this window. Now we are going to zoom in and we will have this point. And let's pick some area that we want to like always stay in the center. So for example, I'm want this logo. So just pick any high contrast area and after that increase the size of this box. Now bigger this box is better tracking it would do. If you are not moving too fast, then After Effects will be able to understand it. But if you're moving too fast, then you will have to like make this bigger, but it will slow down your track. So I'm happy with this. And now to start the tracking, we can click on this play icon and you can see that After Effects will start tracking. If you want to pause it, then you can click on it again and it will pause it. Now the tracking part can be very tricky because there are a lot of things that you have to take care of. So first thing is that whenever it is tracking, make sure to play close attention to it so that it is not moving a lot. So I'm going to quickly play this and you can see that it is tracking nicely. And now we have started moving away and still it is tracking it nicely. And there are points when the logo or the object, whatever you are tracking, that part won't be visible at all. So for example, you can see that it is still visible, but once I move to the right side, it won't be visible. Then what you can do is you can try to approximate its position. So for example, it is still recording and now you can see that it has drifted away. So we can easily go back to a point where it was following it. So it is following it right on. You can use the page up and down key. So I'm moving around it and Let's check it out one by one and somewhere around it. You can see it has started drifting away so we can get it back on track. And after that, you can again click on this icon to like track one frame forward just to check whether it is sticking to the surface or not. So you can see that it is not sticking perfectly. So we can go back and let's try to do it manually. Just do it manually for a couple of frames and then see if the tracking is back on it. So I'm moving it and it is tracking and now you can see it is drifting apart. So these are some steps that you have to take care of while stabilizing it. And this is one of the most important steps and I think it is back on track. So now we can click on this play icon and now it is tracking again and let it track 
just make sure that it does not move out so for example you can see it is moving out and we can go back to this point so here we have this tracking marker and let's try to position it then move one frame ahead each time now it is back on tracking and let's play it for a few frames see if it is sticking and i think it is sticking nicely and again you can see it has started drifting away so we can go back and let's track it one frame forward perfect now we can if if the tracking is not falling it then you can make the this part even bigger so that it will try to look in a much larger area and let's try to record it now you can see that it is falling again so in the same way you can keep on tracking your object but there are a few problems that you will run into and i will show you how to solve them so before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue Now here is one of those problems that you might run into so for example you can see that we are moving around this object and now i'm moving behind this so we are not able to see our tracking point and we don't know how to track it so the best way to figure to tackle this problem is by simply trying to approximate it and after that once you have it you can like start tracking some other point so just put it onto the surface and you can see that it will nicely start tracking some other point we basically want this object to be in focus we don't want exactly that point so now you can see it has started tracking its outside and just make sure that there are no very harsh moments and we can probably go back a little bit and while it is over here we can try to move it on to these areas and you can see that we are getting a lot of motion which we don't want so let's pick some contrasty area we can probably increase the size as well now let's try to move it one by one and now it is tracking nicely let's zoom out and let's play it so now the tracking is done and once you're happy with this we can apply this track so make sure to check that your current video is selected and after that you can click on apply then click on ok now after effects will stabilize your footage so here we have our stabilized footage and if i press play you can see our object is like staying in the center and you will be able to see some black areas around the footage but don't worry we can get rid of it and this is exactly where the 4k clip comes in handy so we can scale this without losing much quality and we can play around with some scale and position as well so you can see that it did a very nice job but sometimes you can see we have extreme cropping because our motion was not that smooth so you can use a gimbal to shoot this and i think it did a pretty good job so once you're done with this we are ready to like apply the speed ramp effect so first we can select this right click let's pre-compose this and i'm going to call this stable footage and make sure that move all attribute is set just click on ok so here we have this now i'm going to quickly change the composition settings and let's make this 19 20 by 1080 frame rate we can set this to whatever you want let's keep it on to 30 so here we have this footage and this one is 4k but this composition is 1080 so we can easily scale this down now let's scale this down by using the keyframes so let's add keyframe for scale and position let's press u now let's pick some points and try to stay keep it in the center so first i'm going to enable the title action save so that we can see the center point which is this one so we can move it to this location let me just quickly move it like that so our this logo is in the center now we can scale this to get rid of the black areas perfect now let's start moving it and if i press play you can see our object is staying in the center and we are moving nicely and let's keep on checking it out so we are not able to see any black areas and sometimes we will be able to see few of them so for example we can see it over here so let's add some keyframes to this point let's move a little bit and we can easily scale this up to get rid of them 
and let's try to position it as well and we can move these keyframes a little bit ahead so that this motion is not harsh now you can see we have got rid of those black areas and again we have some black areas to this region so let's add keyframes a little bit ahead and just move them and let's scale this up now there is one more way in which you can get rid of these black areas by simply going inside this and on top of it you can apply a motion tile effect let's drag it onto this and set the output width and height to 200 by 200 make sure to check this mirror edges now you can see that it will basically flip this and fill out these areas so we can now we don't have to like zoom in much instead we can position it accordingly so that we are not able to see any areas perfect but you will be able to see some weird effects so for example our lines are moving like this so in that case you can play around with the position and scale so in the same way you can like keep on adding keyframes for scale and position for the entire clip and i will come back once it is done so now i'm done with the scaling and positioning and if i press play you can see now we are not able to see any black areas and our object is nicely placed in the center and once you're done with this our last step is to speed ramp it to make it look like we have some nice moments so let's see how to do that so first i'm going to select this right click and let's pre-compose this and i'm going to call this speed ramp and make sure move all attribute is set just click on ok now once you have this we can start adding the keyframe for time remapping so for that right click go to time enable time remapping now it will give you two keyframes one at the start and one at the end now we are first going to pick out the points at which we want our camera to stop so for example i am moving away and at this point i want my camera to like kind of stop so i'm going to add a keyframe over here now let's pick other points as well so you can basically move to all of those points for example now we have it on to the left side so at this point we can have our another keyframe let's add one and let's move and now i'm moving to the right side so let's pick the this point when we are at the right side let's add a keyframe now we are moving to the top so let's add a keyframe over here as well now we are moving to the bottom so we're basically like pointing out all of these areas where we want the motion to stop so let's add a keyframe over here and at last we are moving away so somewhere around here we can easily move this keyframe or we can add one last keyframe over here and we can get rid of the last one so let's just delete this so once you're done with this we can select all of these keyframes then press f9 to ease them or you can right click go to keyframe assistant and from here you can ease so once you're done with this we can select all of these keyframes and let's go to the graph editor now if your graph looks different then make sure you're using the speed graph not the value graph and after that i am going to quickly select all of these points this one as well and i'm going to change the graph to look like this so we have a very quick movement in the beginning and after that we can slow it down now our last step is to play around with the timing of it so let's just quickly play and we can move these keyframes like a lot closer so here you can see we have this very quick motion and after that we can move this key keyframe close as well so you can see we have this really nice quick motion and let's move the next keyframe so all you have to do is just play around with the timing of it and maybe we can make it a lot closer and now if i press play we have all of these motions nicely done so once you're done with this we can trim this layer so you can select this press ctrl shift d to split this and delete this part now we can press n or just move the end point over here this is our final video and in order to really enhance this effect we can apply one more thing so let's create a, an adjustment layer and let's apply cc force motion blur let's drag it onto this and what this will do is it will add some motion blur which will make your movement even smoother so if i hide it you can see now it has added some motion blur and if you want to have a lot of motion blur then you can increase this shutter angle 
So if I increase this, you can see that it will increase this, but you can see we are not able to get very high quality because our motion sample is a lot low. Now, this is one of those settings that you have to play around carefully because if you overdo it, your system might hang and crash. So I'm going to just increase it, let's say to 16 and you can see it will add finer details and I don't want the shutter angle to be this large. We can probably set this to 250 for now. And now we are able to see some motion blur. If you want to increase this, then we can increase this a little bit more. Let's set this to 24. Now, if I press play, you can see we have created this very amazing move around effect with all the motion blur and everything. So the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you're not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. And with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.